Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's recipe is going to be really fiery. So I'm going to be making Murtani or Upar Gar for you all. Murtani is a fiery blend of smoky vegetables and aromatic herbs. It's basically a lot of vegetables roasted on an open flame. And the main attraction in this dish is the pepper. So you can add whatever types of pepper you want. Scotch bonnet, scorpion pepper, Congo pepper, you name it. Whatever types of pepper. But the uniqueness of the dish is the heat that it brings. And it's traditionally done on a fireside or chulha. But since I don't have any of that, I'm just going to be roasting it on my stove. If you don't have a gas stove, you can put this in the oven on the broiler setting. Or you can just take it outside and put it on your grill. So Murtani actually has East Indian roots. So our ancestors, the East Indian indentured laborers, they brought a lot of their tradition and their culture and the food to Trinidad and Tobago. And as the people evolved, so did our foods. So Murtani does have a strong East Indian influence, but we've added different ingredients and made it our own, as we always do. So this can also be called pepper choka. If you go to those stalls in Debe, you'll see them selling in little jars. They have medium hot, extra hot, extra extra hot. I usually get the extra extra hot one, it's really delicious. But the pepper choka that they refer to as Murtani in Debe, it's more pepper based, so they add more pepper than vegetables. This Murtani that I'll be making today is actually more of a savory dish. It can be eaten with roti or you can have it as a side dish. So if you all want to see how I do the recipe for the Murtani or Upargar, also called Pepper Choka, then keep watching. So to get started, you'll need some tomatoes. I'm just using two large tomatoes, two bygone eggplant or melangen. I like to use these Japanese or Chinese eggplants because they taste much similar to the Trini bygone. I have some okros or some okra and you want to use the young ones because they're much softer. The more mature ones are very hard and doesn't taste as good. I have some shadow benny or bandania leaves. These are also called culantro or ricao. And the star of this entire dish is the scotch bonnet pepper. You can use any type of peppers you want. You could use scorpion, habaneros. I'm using scotch bonnet because these have just the right amount of heat that I want. So you don't have to make this dish spicy if you don't want to. So you can use a mild pepper like a pimento or a jalapeno. Whatever you can find and whatever you can tolerate. I'm using two heads of garlic, so this is about 20 cloves. And you can just use one head if you want. I just like extra garlic in it. I love the flavor that the garlic gives to the dish. I'll use just a little squeeze of lemon juice just to give it a little extra tartness. And I'm using some avocado oil. You can use any type of oil that you cook with. So it's gonna get really hot in here now. I just lit up all four burners and I put some wire racks on the top of the burner. All you're going to do now is place all your vegetables and they're going to roast until the outside is nice and charred. If you have an electric stove, you can do this outside on your grill or if it's winter by you, then just put it into the oven on the broiler setting and that should work fine. So once everything's roasted and charred nicely, all you're going to do is cut off the tips of the okra. You can cut the tails as well. I'm just going to leave it. It's fine if you leave the head on as well. 
I'm gonna cut down the center of the bacon or the eggplant and I'm gonna scoop out the flesh from inside and you want to remove the charred skin on the outside of the tomatoes Into a mortar or a bowl, you're going to add all your roasted ingredients as well as the shadow benny or the bandania. And all you want to do is use your pestle or a fork or you can even blend this in a blender or a food processor. So you just want to pound it up or mash it up or in Trinidad we would say pong it up. So you want to pong it until it's nice and smooth depending on how you like it. I like it a little chunky so I'm just going to leave a few chunky bits in there. So just pong it up until everything is combined. After everything's combined, now it's time to chunky the martani. And in this case, chunking means to add hot oil to the dish. So now you want to add some oil to a calcul or to a small pan and let it reach its smoking point. And then add it to the martani and just mix it in. Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. You could use lime juice if you want as well. So the Mertani or the Upar Gar is usually served with sada roti and it's loosely called pepper choker for the main reason that pepper is the main ingredient in it and it's meant to be very spicy. However, pepper choker is usually made with just roasted peppers some garlic and maybe a few other ingredients but the main ingredient in pepper choker is lots of scotch bonnet or scorpion peppers. Today I'm going to be eating my martani as a side dish with some rice and curry shrimp and like I said you can have this as a main dish with some sada roti or any types of roti you want to eat it with. So I hope you all enjoyed this martani uparagar or pepper choker recipe. Comment below if you know that no river lime is complete without making some martani on the fireside or the chulha. So if you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you'll be updated with every single video that I post. So until I see you all in my next video, bye!